when did your something is very wrong here gut instinct turn out to be right my friend asked me if i wanted to go out to the woods with him and explore abandoned places he even specifically mentioned that he'll bring a firearm to keep us safe my alarm bells were f***ing ringing i asked him a couple questions i don't know what but concluded that it was sketchy as fuck. my gut told me not to go so i exited from the conversation while he went asking others the same question fast forward a couple years i heard that he was in prison i was stunned but remembered the memory when he asked me if i wanted to go into the woods turns out he took a freshman him being senior at that time and kept his promise of looking for abandoned places he found a cabin in the woods brought his friend inside and as soon as his friend turned his back bam knocked dead he shot him in the back of the head i reminisce on this quite often and think what if i had agreed Every time I think of this I'm very grateful I'm alive. Driving with a friend of mine through a pretty remote forest road. Couple of guys in the middle of nowhere tried flagging us down. I almost stopped for them before an alarm went off in my head and I stepped on the gas. My friend started saying what the foo, and at the same time there was a shot and a bullet hit the back of the car. We made it to a police station. Turns out there had been a bunch of people and vehicles going missing in the area that same week. My freshman year, my math class had a substitute teacher who we all agreed was really weird and creepy. He really only talked to the girls and made inappropriate comments. For context, this man was easily in his 60s. Well, when our teacher come back the next week we complained to him about the sub and talked crap about him being a creeper. The teacher was very upset. He said, I will not stand sub being disrespected like this. I have known this man for a decade and he is a kind, good man who would never do anything to a student, or any person. One week later sub was caught, in the middle of the night, breaking and entering a college girl's apartment and I believe trying to sexually assault her or doing some other perverse thing. Teacher came in the next day and apologized. Edit. He was only charged with residential burglary, a felony, but it was a woman's home, at night. I had a bad feeling about my aunt's boyfriend. Told my mom he seemed creepy and I didn't want to stay the night there anymore. I got a bit of a lecture for calling him creepy, but she made sure I was never around him alone. And good thing he turned out to be a child Alester who is currently in jail for his involvement in a kitty on ring. I feel like people should be more inclined to take their kids seriously especially if the kid is scared or finds someone threatening or creepy. No they might not just be being silly, perhaps they are more attuned to recognizing safe vs and safe people. Laid eyes on my sister's then boyfriend and instantly hated him. I then noticed one of our dogs acted out of character around him which made me hate him even more. We found out a year later the boyfriend had been beating her regularly. Edit. He was beating my sister, not the dog. Freshman year of college, a friend and I were driving across town and he stopped for gas. It wasn't a dangerous part of town or anything, just a quiet gas station with an old book out front. But this feeling came over me that we needed to get out of there. I tried to shake the feeling by making a joke, this feels like somewhere an axe murderer would hide out. My friend immediately gunned it out of there without filling up. He said he had the same feeling and me bringing it up too scared the shit out of him. On the way home there were about 20 police cars outside. It turns out some guy shot two people in a carjacking and robbery. The book was the car he stole. 1.30 am leaving a club with a well lit parking lot. We had just bought a bottled water and were walking to the car. We saw a couple, guy holding girl and girl throwing up. Offered the guy to give the girl our water. He took a swig, didn't give her any, and put it back on the car they were between. We were a little taken aback and told him to give her the water. He made a vile, disgusting face as if we were cheering him on. We walked a few feet and knew something was wrong. Had the guys we were with check back and he was pants down while she was unconscious, not puking. He was forcing himself from behinks. From the front, it looked like all clothes were still on. Once discovered, they fell to the floor and she smacked her head on the pavement. My friends beat the it out of him and we called the police. Tried to comfort the girl although she was very confused and disoriented. 
For some reason he was insistent on explaining himself and calling to her by a wrong name. Filed a police report. Found her dumbfounded friends. Answered all of the detectives questions when they called for a follow up statement to give to the district attorney. Evil has a feeling. If you see something. Say something. Looking dumb or feeling dumb is much less itty than what could actually be happening. I stopped off at a dollar store to get last minute stuff for my niece's birthday party, foil or napkins or something. I went to the one I had never been to, in a seedy part of town. There weren't many other people there, since it was a Sunday afternoon. A luxury car pulls up and this gorgeous man gets out and starts trying to catch my eye, like he wanted to ask directions. Dream come true, right? Except my gut started screaming run for no reason. I pretended I didn't see him and got in my car and left. The next morning I see on the news that three people were murdered in Charleston, they were all connected to one dude, one of their cars was stolen, and the serial killer was on the loose heading west, through my area. Guess who the suspect was? Yep, the dude I'd seen. They arrested him after he'd kidnapped a girl in Augusta the same night I saw him, and she managed to escape. Still gives me goose bumps. What if I'd stopped and talked to him? I was walking home and a woman approached me to ask for directions. I told her how to get where she wanted to go, but she didn't walk that way, but instead walked beside me and kept pace with me. This made me incredibly uncomfortable, so I said have a nice day and doubled my speed, not running, but outpacing her significantly. A moment later, I heard running footsteps. I must have instinctively gripped my purse strap, because I held on to it as she ran by and tried to snatch it. We ended up tussling for a moment. I shouted very loudly help. She stealing my purse neighbors came outside. Causing her to walk away. She did not get my purse. I love my stepsister to pieces but she is way too trusting with people she doesn't know well. About 10 years ago she was living with a couple of roommates who became her best friends. She would tell me stories about them, over the phone, we lived in different cities, and I would just think, Jesus Christ these girls are messes, she could hear the weariness in my voice after telling me stories about their troubled lives and how they are really good people who have just been through a lot I didn't buy it. I can't think of all the stories because it's been too long but they were always sketchy as hell. Cut to my stepsister inheriting $20,000 from a deceased relative. She was young and super excited about it and I knew she probably didn't keep the new money a secret. About one ducking week later, one of her roommates calls her panicking, saying that this guy who she's been talking to online kidnapped her and was holding her for ransom. A $15,000 ransom. And she called my stepsister for the ransom. Not her parents. Her ducking roommate. She calls me, freaking out because she didn't know what to do. I asked her if she had told her roommate about the money. Of course she did. Move out, sis. Get the duck out. Those little girls who are really good people but have just been through a lot. Yeah they're liars. She reluctantly followed my advice and thankfully didn't try to make a deal with them. I told her to call the police. If I remember correctly she didn't. She still worries me sometimes. Your stepsister sounds like an idiot. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I began noticing that my kid was having a tough time potty training. He was drinking a lot and peeing a lot. I spoke with his pet about it and she dismissed it, saying we live in a warm area and toddlers are likely to drink more, and therefore pee more, and that I shouldn't hear hoof bits and assume zebras. He had no other symptoms whatsoever, happy healthy looking little dude. I tried to calm myself down, but I just knew something wasn't right. Finally I took one of his massively full pull ups and used a Kato strip to check his urine, and then proceeded to head right to the hospital. He was diagnosed in November 2015. Got him a new pediatrician immediately. Taking the question literally, when I realized that my appendix was about to burst and went to the hospital. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If you liked the video, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, the best thing you can do is simply watch the videos, but if you really want to see the channel thrive, subscribe, like, comment, add to favorites, add to playlist, and share with friends. 
don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Reddit, and, Insta. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you with tomorrow's upload.